Good morning, everyone. We are fortunate to have Bob along with us. Welcome, Bob, uh, to the functional conf. And uh, Bob is Hello. going to talk about uh, COSI APL. Over to you, Bob. Okay. Now I want to say uh, hi to the uh, international, the global uh, crowd. Uh, and uh, indication from that of um, how uh, Cozy is both very old and very, and perhaps the newest um, um, language that's here. And let me go over here. This is actually Cozy running. Uh, if there, and let me put down a timestamp. It's uh, 7.30 a.m. here. Um, let me get a loop for that. Uh, Cozy is, is evolved. I've lived my life uh, in, in APL um, from the 70s on. And um, I learned a fourth, which I consider the, the uh, uh, it, it's the minimal, minimal machine. Well, I'll go through this. But it's, it's Ken Iverson is the, is the daddy of, of uh, APL, and uh, Chuck Moore, uh, who's still with us, is, is the creator of Force. Um, and the purpose of Cozy, I put it, is to artificially aid my intelligence. I learned APL in the first place because I needed to learn math of, of multidimensional algebra and geometry. And, and uh, as the talks, there are other talks on APL which give you a flavor of that. Um, but one of the other notions is that the only way you can truly control uh, your intelligent assistance, your computers, is through language. Uh, as, as long as you're dealing in, in menus and, and so forth, um, you, you can't truly uh, have control over it. Uh, you need language. And so the, the uh, effort is for very, very simple language, um, but at the same time, profoundly deep. Because um, uh, one of my particular interests, for instance, would be making a voxel matter, a model of, of planetary physics and temperature physics in particular. So it's for the computer-aided individual, the purpose. Um, and thus, the, 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 the interface itself, and this is cozy that I'm, I'm in, is, is integral to productivity. And a, a, a desire is to maximize uh, the derivative, if you will, productivity um, per unit time and and acceleration of that continual acceleration and one of the things is the the, the goal is, is not is not so much system programming and all of that as again the the, the um, uh, use of, of for more more or less ordinary people who've never heard of GitHub and uh, cozy language is more powerful in, in any case. So I just have um, um, well, the code is it, the code is all open code uh, and it's, it's simply indexed because that's easier to deal with. And this is one of the things relative to a lot of the things spoken at this conference the code is the theory. Um, um, it's APL notions from from um, uh, APL window through Arthur Whitney's K. Um, but bottom line, instead of having a lot of vocabulary uh, about things, you know, when it gets down to it, particularly because all the code is open, so you can look at it. And see exactly what it does. Uh, that uh, represents the, the, the that is the theory. APL and fourth 
share some some uh, attributes. And I've been accused also of taking simplicity to the extreme. And um, actually, I will go and uh, just uh, here's a quote from from Chuck Moore. I've gone to some lengths to simplify, and there's several other quotes. This is a page that's got a lot of um, the, the um, well, one of the things that's interesting is Hello World versus Python. Um, and it, at the top level, they are interpreted. So you're sitting there and you're, you're able to go and do things in the interactive. Uh, you, Originally, the, the APL concept of the workspace. And this is essentially my workspace. Um, and you have, this is essentially the log section. And this is any result you'll see coming up with results. And the other thing about both APL and, and fourth, they are languages for creating vocabulary as opposed to, if you will, making programs. You know, for vocabulary working, the work together, words that work together in sentences rather than, than making, if you will, massive, you know, programs and set programs. Um, a couple of design principles, there's a great uh, uh, um, video on the design of the Apollo 11 computer, which of course was very minimal in 1969. But there are a couple of design principles that are, that are fundamental in, in uh, COSY. And um, one of the things is when I hit, uh, I just hit control up and then we'll get to uh, control, yeah. Um, but one of the first design principles on the incredibly you know, just absolutely minimal moon lander uh, computer was um, use a high level language. And that's why APL, APL is the highest level language, as you can see from some of the other presentations. The other one that's become quite important because it's trivial to go and write down and see when I start executing things, write down something that will blow cozy away. The other, like there, <laughs> I'm not sure what I did. Control F9. Yeah. The other is restart on failure, and because that's yes, it just did. Now, APL works on entire collections on ordered sets, um, as you've seen in other presentations. And it put the, the overall goal in terms of the, the, the vocabulary of Cozy, and it's very, very much uh, derivative of, of Arthur Whitney's K. And check out kx.com for sort of on, on uh, enterprise um, uh, level what, uh, what these languages can do. But I'd put it in terms of, of wanting to have a vocabulary that, that is the, the it facilitates the combinatoric application of, of functions or uh, Arthur and, and um, Iverson before started calling verbs uh, to data or nouns. And um, APL factors loops, which you see continually into operators or what, what uh, Ken would call adverbs. And an aspect of APL, the level of APL, is, is to have a vocabulary so that if you can think it, it's done. And this is the thing for, for people that, to, to have an extremely powerful replacement for a slide rule in a sense, except, you know, uh, orders of magnitude more powerful. Um, and I don't like to have to think something twice, which is why I like to be able to go and, and um, uh, define something. Um, now, Arthur Whitney, the APL you've seen, Arthur Whitney simplified that to lists of lists, which actually uh, Bacchus had suggested uh, in, in talking about Iverson's work back in his original Turing Awards uh, lecture. Um, and uh, uh, Arthur made the, the, the structure much more 
transparent. And um, Cozy's taking that absolutely further. So it's open code all the way down to the chip or all the way down to the processors on, on an FPGA. Because fourth processors are actually designed directly in FPGA. This, for instance, is the definition of a dot product, um, classical dot product in K. Okay, now we'll shift to, to the fourth end of things, which is what uh, is not, it's just sort of, a, it's the alternative to, to the languages like C and Java and so forth that um, uh, are, are generally used. The fourth is generally used for very, very small, very compact embedded systems and so forth. But most fundamentally, it's a minimal vocabulary. The goal is a minimal vocabulary to create a dictionary capable of extending itself, is the way I would put it. Or you can create a language in the language of, of the chip, word by word, to interface with other languages, including human. Um, it's the ultimate in flexibility. Um, and it's RPN, reverse Polish notation, read it, do it syntax. But you can make a word, words that look ahead in the input, as you'll see, um, um, to get down to, to what it actually looks like. So you can construct any vocabulary and syntax you can conceive. All of the languages presented here could be written probably more succinctly and, and directly than in, in whatever languages they're written in. I'm, I'm actually, I'm not that clear on, on, I know C is fundamental, I guess Java is, I guess Left is, Lua, I, I don't know that any of these other languages are written directly in assembly. Um, and here, um, there's basic, basic rules for for um, uh, the extreme simplicity of of fourth and um, um, what's uh, and and cozy. A word in fourth is is whoops, is any non-blank string of characters, okay? And space is the prime delimiter. This simple brilliance by Chuck Moore is, is tremendously opens up the, the, the nature of the words that you can create uh, very simply. And as I said, syntax is essentially noun, noun, verb. Um, you see, because it's a stack-oriented language. And in Cozy, you'll see, uh, well, I'll get to that but one of the things, all nouns are lists. And at the fourth level, we'll see they have, well, I, I'll get back, I'll go over here and, and get back to where I um, was. But here, actually, this is a, an important, a very, very, very useful. Indexing is modulo. So it's, it's like uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. And um, that, that, replaces what is syntax extension, um, which was talked about in APL uh, and so forth. And um, yeah, let me just uh, revert over here. And as a matter of fact, let me go and close this up a little so it isn't as diverting. Um, yeah, so we'll go to, to, to here's the, uh, um, now here, actually, tick, this will say what it is, tick just simply returns the, 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 the name of the non-blank string of characters after it. And let me, this is a comment symbol, let me put in a comment symbol. So that just returns that string. Let me take out the, con, the, the, the comment symbol, and this will start this job, which is the, the job that you normally this is the beginning job. You'll see actually the definitions of the of the function keys. It's function keys that execute things. Um, 
And the most important one is you have to fix whatever line the cursor is on, this will execute it. And shift F to it, you'll see, will execute as raw force. Um, and the other one you'll see me use is, is control, which you see me whenever anything, I open up anything in a browser. Those are the main keys. And then there are timestamp keys because keeping a timestamp log of all your businesses is, is, is important for the ordinary, for the business of life. But everything is a list. And this is most, most fundamental. This is a, this back tick here. Uh, is names. This gives a list of names. Um, I'm going to just go through here because, again, if you become interested in it, then we can get together uh, and and follow up and and so forth. But um, um, the, the the first three items in a in a cozy word uh, any any list. A, a, a type count and reference count. Let me come back over here. I'll, I'll refer back over to this. But here I'm going to go and start. And when I talk about fourth being right at the at the chip level, and this happens to be x86. Um, let me first just execute this, and I'm, I'm using the shift F6, which are, as I said, go. Uh, executes just in raw force and let's f6 you'll see I'll, I'll go through this step by step and what it does um but this essentially it's reverse polish so it puts things on a stack if there is actually a, a vision of the stack down here at the very bottom of the screen but uh, that can't read. So uh, dot s goes and puts the shows the the the, the uh, contents of the stack. And so when I execute the one, it puts a one on the stack. Two, it puts it, it, it now. It's got one and two on the stack. Uh, uh, minus is obviously a verb. It takes the difference of the two and puts that on the stack. And then, and then um, uh, dot goes in and and prints out the the one, and now there's nothing on the stack. So, um, as I said, the uh, a a a cozy object. Um, let me come. I'll go and. Kind of figure out the sequencing of going through things to get through things. This, this, which is I'm sure rather foreign to to most people here. Trying to get the sequence to to go through things. To take that one, to take a one off of the stack. Underline I and is also underline F to go make uh, floating points. This goes and and I'm F, hitting it. F six. Now, not sure why that happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, but again, that's why the restart on failure is, is important. Um, that puts that returned actually a one item cozy object. And, and to show you how directly uh, what, what that created is it actually created a, a a, it allocated a um, type. This is type. This is the first uh, cell. Um, type four is integer because it's uh, four bytes. Uh, it's it, the count is one. It's the one item. And actually, uh, here um, it's got. Um, it's got the zero is, is the reference count. There, there, there are no other, there are no other objects watching it. When, when things are allocated, they start off with a reference count of zero. Uh, when something else is referring to them, then that count will, will increase. This is memory managed. 
dynamic objects, you can see. Um, and when it returns to zero, uh, then it's freed. Um, it's following um, Arthur Whitney's structure uh, greatly in all of this. So um, I can go and execute here. It, it, it did the, the difference in, in at the x86 level and then converted it to an integer. Now to make a word in 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 uh, fourth, it's just colon the name of the word and then the uh, the uh, sequence um, in fourth is sort of the original concatenated language. That's a word that's, that's, that's used. And it's not quite as pure as, as I wish there are various things, but this is uh, where we're starting. But so this, this creates the word, I've just created the word uh, minus, minus two. So now I can go and, and execute this and I'm gonna show that that returns this this one. Oh, here's the or the minus one. Here's the minus one actually because she's sitting there. So one of the things you see, unlike any, this is the, the first time you've I think seen actually the the x86 level um, um, uh, what's what's actually at the bottom of of uh, of, of these um, languages. So. Um, oh, here we've got uh, iota was was mentioned earlier, and let me put in again one of the things that's very convenient about this RPN uh, notation, this um, see it do it notation, is that that iota actually was mentioned as an APL verb, and uh, when I first learned APL, I thought, boy, that's weird. This return first in integers. But I wanted to show that that in APL this this would not work. This is again you you have these these this is times and it's integer times. This is one of the things that a level of gener genericity genericization has not been done in Cozy yet. Um, Factor has done that. It, 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 in any case, I, I've done things that that were the, I've reduced the the variance and unknown going and generalizing and making tables to go and, and have it uh, uh, um, know whether something is an integer or not. I mean, type is that's why the, the type is the very first shell in in a uh, in an item. Um, this goes and shows it cyclically. It, it, it just uses the modulo index and causes it to use one minus one, one minus one, and uh, so you see the, it, it multiplied top and bottom and so forth. You've seen me use this word uh, tick, which just essentially, or I'm calling it qua, it just simply returns the following word is a string, and I found this extremely useful because the names of things, I mean, this is all about having an interactive, you know, computing environment. Now, one of the most fundamental, extremely powerful fourth words, um, and I think I may want to get back over here to show this tick versus tick. This is an extremely powerful word because what it does is it returns the address of the following word, the, the address of uh, whether it's a, a noun or a, a verb. So here is, here is the dot product. We'll just use that in, in, in cozy. And so um, it's floating point. Um, it, it, it multiplies the floating point. And then check those and returns the address of this verb. Um, and um, going over here, um, 
again, there are the generators. I guess I've heard that word used here. But essentially, you can have, there, there are several different forms. And these, these call it monadic and dyadic, and that terminology is from APL. Um, and there's also, and this is something that Arthur uh, really sort of, I think, added, is left and right versions. And then there are various scans and so forth. And I guess in other languages, these would be called maps. Um, so um, this is this is taking uh, well, this multiplies the two two items and then and then goes and um, adds uh, then uh, applies it adds across them. This is a, a, a scan across. So essentially, that's the same. That's equivalent to to the definition in where you got a plus slash. A times B than in uh, K. Um, so, and this is one of the things is here, if I F6 this, I've now defined it, and C actually goes, and there's actually the X86 code. It's calling the, the times F, and then it's, it's, uh, it's got the address of that, um, um plus uh f um and then it's it's uh, and it's loading that and then it's just calling uh, the across uh to go and, and sum across the, the list um you can see i guess in other languages a lot of these operations are called like maps and so forth um and Let's see where, oh, okay, let me just show that the thing works. Uh, taking 10 iota, let me go and, and, and put a comment symbol right in there. So there you have iota 10 converted to, to floats. Um, and dot dot makes, puts two of them, they made, you know, duplicates it, and then dot, okay, uh, just to show, again, they actually the, on the fourth end of things, people do not have any sorts of objects. There's a difference if, if I do it and flip it and then do a dot. Now, one of the things is you see here that that I was able to define something just with a colon, and that starts that says essentially go and instead of executing this, go and add it to the the dictionary, the the fourth dictionary, and um, because that, you see actually that the fourth has a different relationship between compilation versus any 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 traditional language, um, and there's actually quite a vocabulary to do things that just are inconceivable in, in other languages, and so there's a fair amount of vocabulary that that just is about definitions. And turning on and off um, definitions, this in particular goes and stop compiling and switch to interpreter. So right in the, in the middle of the definition, you can go and say, okay, execute something now while I'm while it's in the ex action of, the, of defining, and and then go and and put that on the stack, and then go and you know so this this. Again, these are things that are inconceivable in any other language uh, that is not essentially, uh, I think, uh, de derived, I guess, postscript. Uh, I understand this has got the, a lot of similar features. Um, in any case, uh, oh, um, one of the things, let me. No, I think I've got it over here. Yeah, you have a vocabulary of, of since you're, you're working on lists all the time, and uh, they can be numeric, they can be uh, very general. Type zero um, in, in type is actually a list of lists. Um, the list of addresses and so forth. So, um, 
you have um, um, let me come down here. Um, all all of the, the the entire dictionary, everything that is saved when whenever I execute something, any any of these languages, it actually is saving my entire environment. So that's why it restarts where it is. And all of that is stored in in a in a root directory R. And um R is a list of two two lists. Let me go and show. Uh the splat is is count, which is how many that's the item in that letter. And and so R has got two um um uh items and it's a it's a list of let me put the uh, this is uh, Listen, each of those has got 28 items in it, and the first, um, the first column, let me put a comment symbol in there. One of the things you can see is that this is definitely a, an environment for this interactive um, action and so forth. So these are all the, the, the items, the names of the items that are in. Uh, this uh, route, which gets saved every time I, I hit a, an F6 and execute something. And in particular, you can see, um, oh, here's the text. Here, this, is, this is actually, uh, well, I'll actually go and do that here. This is actually a little bit of cleverness to show it's, it's going and taking that first, and, the, 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 and, and it's, it's the, uh, the, the size of each of those. It's going in concatenating or, or um, um, connecting them in a very list like way as two items, and then it's flipping them. So I'm going to just execute that. And so this is the size, the number of bytes of each one of those. For instance, the text is currently 36,000 uh, uh, bytes. Um, and which is yeah, let me take off this this uh, this, and you can see this is all the same text and so forth that, that is right here. Um, vocabularies tend to be big um, because we like to have again. It's just think it you go and, and find a word that will go and get things done, and there's a tremendous amount of vocabulary. It is dealing with the splitting and, uh, and slicing and dicing uh, strings and so forth, like the text itself. Um, and I'll just go, yeah, there's, this is this is actually X words goes and returns a list of there are these contexts and, and forth. And these are these are the words in all of the different contexts. And uh, this is. Uh, Essentially, grabbing the first items out of those. One thing I want to, uh, you know, get across because going in is that a lot can get done very succinctly. Um, and this environment you see has got this result variable, and it's got the text, which is just like a log, generally used like a log, and. Um, this bottom one, which I haven't gotten to, is state. Uh, and it just contains one of the things you can see is virtually any single line that you have um, is uh, like having a, it's like menu. Every line is a is menu. All you have to do is F6 it, execute it, and so forth. So there are a lot of things kept around just simply uh, to do in, in, that, um, in that manner. Um, one of the things is cozy. I don't know how you count. All it's got is, is my menus in it at this point, and it, it needs um, heads to make a, a community. I know that this is an awful lot, and I'm I'm not the most straightforward. Um, um, under you know. Uh, mind to follow um but um 
it just gives it gets across the notion that here is something that's fresh. It's something that, that despite it, it has very, very historic, if you will, uh, uh, foundation. I um, mean, APL goes back, it's essentially uh, around the same age as Lisp. Um, Chuck Moore slightly later, uh, around the, the end of the 60s. Um, but um, these two languages, APL and simplified similar with, with K, um, are the the the, the, the queens of language? They're, 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 you know the mathematically the most succinct. The the simplicity in the mathematical sense of of um, being able to express uh, algorithms um, very very succinctly and uh, definitely to go and look at, at at what these languages are capable of. Um, the main uses, well, for instance, I mean, their main uses are in global, in global finance. Um, Arthur came out of Morgan Stanley and, 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 uh, K is, is that's, that's KX.com market. You go and look at that because essentially for Cozy is, is that opened up to the chip. And even to to the the, the fourth processor, which uh, the, 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 the the fundamental fourth language is, is consists of as as few as about thirty definitions. And uh, I know of at least three projects, uh, one by a friend, another that's going to be spoken about on uh, at the um, Silicon Valley Fourth Interest Group uh, conference this Saturday. Um, another uh, fourth processor as a core on, on an FPGA. So you can have entire fields of fourth processors on an FPGA. And, and Cozy is there to be able to express the parallel algorithms and have that implemented. You don't go and like recompile some big thing if you've got something that needs to be changed in Cozy, you just go down to that vocabulary that is relevant and, and change it at that level. Um, I, um, yeah, need definitely at this point, and this is harder perhaps than creating languages, creating the, the language community, the, the language pool, the ecosystem, um, and, and business. Uh, and one of the particular needs is replacing this, this IUP GUI, which is one has its own bugs and is used because that was what got connected to the VA before that this was built in. But it needs to be, you know, this is, you know, that you talk about it, one, but this is where it is. This is both the very old roots, but youngest language and definitely something you've not seen before. Um, but one of the things I plan to have a, a Zoom next Saturday uh, morning and, and email me to RSVP if you want to get that. Since this is, a, I've been up all, all night uh, and now the sun is out, um, I'm not going to hang around after the talk. But let me, uh, any, any, anybody, yeah, any questions, whatever. Hey, Bob. Thanks, thanks for yeah. this insightful talk. Uh, <laughs> so just, oh, sorry. It's something completely different. <laughs> it's, yeah. And it's very, very perfect. You know, I think you can see in all the confusion, there's a tremendous amount of power, though. Right. And right. they, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. And they definitely cannot see it. Nobody else has shown you actual machine code. Right. <laughs> that are underlying definitions. Right. Um, and uh, uh, I, I, I know that's one of the things that impressed Jim uh, 
uh, Jim Brown, who, who wrote the uh, I, uh, IBM JPL2. And that's right. one of the things that impressed me when he was impressed by the fact, oh, wow, <laughs> he just showed the, 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 the assembly language that the actual words are. The definitions tend to be very succinct, too. Uh, but again, it, it's an awful lot to just go into and, and you know. Right. So, right. I whetted some people's appetite. That's that's most important right. thing. Right. I just like want to see like if anyone from the audience has any question. Thanks a lot, both of the fourth and they both super, superficially complicated. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they're they're both they're both they're both complicated and simple. It is this this sort of yeah, that's actually uh uh, there's sort of this duality there. Um, when I go and talk to people about, about uh, you know, APL being simple, it's the simplicity of, of mathematics. It's the simplicity of, of uh, like, matrix notation. I learned APL because I recognized that I really needed to learn um, uh, multidimensional algebra and geometry. And I, the complexity of even summation signs was too much for me. I, I, I really couldn't get things until essentially I, I learned A times B, where A and B were, were two matrices. Okay, that I can, that, that fits in my brain. From one to N of, you know, this and so forth, that, that's too complex for me. So thank you everyone uh, okay. for joining and thank you Bob for this amazing talk.